Hello everybody, Harbinger here, welcome back to another Roost challenge video. In uh, the last video we uh, did a Jangua only challenge on uh, this planet here. And uh, we got a pretty, 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 pretty good score. But I kind of want to redo that challenge as the next challenge I'm doing, just because we had some pretty major uh, screw-ups with the uh, Sledge Corp where we uh, accidentally d destroyed one of the elephants going into uh, going into the Sludge Corp uh, trigger. And uh, yeah, I've been doing some thinking and I think we can do a really good, uh, really, really good score there. Maybe we can break a thousand prosperity of uh, just a single giant because we proved that we uh, could uh, place two elephants in the same uh, in the same um, in the same uh, biome, and the huntress gives all herbivores additional 100% food if there are exactly two instances of this this uh, biotica in this biome, and we can uh, we can use use that fact to get two ridiculously good elephants. So that is the plan. We need uh, we want. We want to try to have access to all of the different uh, all of the different biomes, uh, if at all possible. So we'll try to try to fit giants like this, so we can have access to all the biomes. Because some of the herbivores live uh, can be also be get gotten from the, those um, from those uh, biome drafts. We have to pick outside the uh, savanna and desert. But for the most part, we are only going to be using we are only going to be using Jangwa for everything. The only the only caveat is that when we unlock the um, the specific um, micros, that uh, because of uh, because of city advancements, when we get these emblems, they will always land on the first plant giant. So since it's Jangwa that unlocks them. We can use uh, the uh, the monkey to place those micros, but that's the only exception. Also, uh, we will be forced to um, do uh, biome drafts off uh, savanna and off the desert, so we will also allow to unlock animals that can be placed in the savanna and the desert with those um, with those biome unlocks. That said, let's um, let's uh, start our plan here and uh, create a really really large uh, savanna go up to uh, triple speed here and uh, yeah for the most part we are only going to be um, to be uh, doing an early setup here and we will try to try to do as good as we can by only placing uh, animals and um, just build up so we can uh, have a really really good African elephant once we reach the uh, third era and we are gonna make um, really good there so let's see hunter for food from animals or tracker for, for gold from animals I think it's gonna be easier easier for us to get three distinct animals than four so uh, let's go for hunter here also she wants um, she wants uh, food for uh, here in the uh, early ages and uh, let's see what you can unlock here in the savanna we have these choices as our first stuff here and i think i think that the sea the zebra unlocks the gazelle and the spotted uh, and uh, and the zebra and we want to unlock as many herbivores as we can so i think this is gonna be it. Don't know if we are going to use zebra in the final build because we are going to need all the biodiversity we can. But uh, yeah, we can uh, we can uh, get a lot of a lot of good stuffs from here. And place the let's also place the uh, the other um, uh, other tribes before we run out of the first era, just because. Just because uh, it's a good idea to have them uh, placed down, because we will then get free, uh, free eon from the first uh, two additional tribes we can use uh, before, um, before uh, the first era here. So we will get some more free eon here. Let's expand, expand the savanna over here, and we will need to give these guys at least. 
two African dogs. So they can get enough welfare. I think they also need uh, they also need to be an extra critter or prey. So let's uh, place this genie fowl here so they will get enough enough wealth so that we can get the third third uh, tribe unlocked here. And uh, let's the sig only wants food. The goddess only wants uh, only wants prosperity. Um, it's harder to build buildings for the goddess early age because she needs those cats, but we can place those cats, so that's not a worry. The sage only wants... Uh, we, we can only met, let the sage get a, a food building in the first stage, so both of them are, like, kind of mediocre here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The sage is a source uh, for, uh, for science, if we can get, give him mystery. And uh, that can trans translate into into micros, so I think uh, that's a good investment there. Take the sage, so he can uh, turn mystery into into text that we can use uh, for micro charges. Because micro micro are really powerful once you uh, understand how to um, use them uh, properly. Then we're gonna need to give some food to the. Um, to the, uh, to the scientist as well, so we already have a gazelle, so genie folds are the best source of food here. Let's also do a desert draw, just because. <sighs> the ostrich is another unique herbivore, together with the sand grows, there are two, so uh, <coughs> they are the best unlocks for the thing we are trying to do. And uh, actually... No, we, we, we can't we can't make uh, desert yet. So let's just give them a modigeny file here and go back over to the huntress. Try to make her get uh, the eighth eighth populace here. Mm. It would be nice 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 to have the zebra on a, on a food tile, but uh, since we can't uh, decide. But that's what we're going to get. We just have to put it wherever we can. Get eight pop there. Get another draft. Merchant village wants to build a building. Distinct be a gold biotica, gem or oceans. We can only do the trade post there, so that's what we're going to choose. And let's see. They have already one distinct gold generating biotica, and we can't really give them more before we have access to more kinds of that. Let's look at uh, the savannah here. Can we get more gold-based biotica? The white rhino is uh, is one, but it's not really good because it really cares about plants. The uh, leopard really, really works here. And uh, together with the cape fox is actually, actually really, really important for our strategy because uh, we need this uh, specific um, we, we need uh, we need um, we need it to uh, give out uh, the additional uh, biodiversity from uh, being enough animals because without that we can't afford to place uh, two elephants so uh, really happy that we get that early unlock there and I think we are going to um, I think we are going to place quite a few of these with the remaining eon we got. We can't place uh, we can't place the desert and the level two animals uh, quite yet, so let's not worry about those. And let's just place these foxes. And now we are ready for the next one. Okay, monument. Element Biotica. We can't get Element Biotica, so let's ignore this. We can't get plants, so we can't do Neolithic, Neolithic Revolution. We can't get science, so let's do Calm Era. Calm Era is uh, the boring challenge, but um, it uh, is uh, okay enough to do. People are expanding their borders. Let's see... Um, Let's see, is there something we should uh, worry about for now? Sage wants to build a building, okay. 
Undergrowth, nope. Herbivores, yes. Fruit, nope. Ocean Biotica, nope. Herbivore Herders Hut is what we're going for here. And that was uh, just herbivores within uh, Biotica. Uh, within Biome, no, within Borders. So, sorry, there are so many B words in, uh, in this game here. Let's give them some more herbivores then. And looking, um, getting, uh, getting this up to, up to 10 gives us more prosperity. And just placing herbivores are really good for uh, elephants uh, down the line. Let's see, um, just finish off this as an entire savanna planet. Now, the bad thing about the strategy we're using is that uh, at some point we can't place more food-based uh, animals. But it's going to be okay, because we are going to have uh, lots and lots of uh, food from uh, canning up all the animals uh, anyway. Let's place that one, and we need 10 more food for them to get level 10 there. So that's fine. Let's go to Merchant, give him another one here. We can't uh, draft enough yet, so... Let's see, we can also draft uh, in the rainforest, maybe try to hit hit the parakeet, yes! This is a herbivore that can also live in the savannah, which was precisely what we tried to tried to unlock here. Nice! Okay, merchant. Merchant needs more gold. Let's give him some gold-based animals. Yeah, uh, put it here. We, um, we want to upgrade away the cape fox later. Uh, to keep their biotica, so uh, we might as well just uh, use this to gain additional gold here. And uh, one more over here should be enough to give them 10. Awesome, get another draft. Let's go to the Huntress. Let's see, you have enough to do that quest, you still want a lot more stuff. You already have the only zebra we do. Um, let's see, we can place uh, one more distinct herbivore next to you, and that would give you more stuff. For example, here. It's not it. zebra ain't really that good. It costs a lot of biodiversity, and it uh, only gives 75 food, plus another 150%. It, it's, it's a one star, so what do you really expect? Anyway, let's draft from here. The Gaila monster is not that good for us. We can, however... We can use the armadillo, but it doesn't count as an herbivore. So uh, let's re-roll all of these, and... I like the idea of having access to the uh, fennec for down the line uh, after we can't uh, place uh, food-based animals anymore. And also the bearded dragon is also a predator, so these ones are good for that. Of course, the ibex is a herbivore and we kind of want herbivores also. Yeah, let's take the ibex for now. Hopefully we can unlock the uh, the Fennec for uh, for later. Yeah. Okay. Need eight, eight more prosperity. That can easily be gained by unlocking another tribe here and uh, helping them. The diplomat, diplomat is uh, really good for uh, late game after we uh, do a lot of these uh, tasks for everybody. Let's place you here. And uh, yeah, we probably also want to do some expansion charges, maybe. But yeah, place you first. You want to have five prosperity. Can we do that for you easily? Yeah, we can uh, start by giving you some foxes. And there, that happened. We did the three-star call era. Dun, dun, dun. We are currently somewhat prepared for next age. Let me just 
spend the last eon on creating more of these cape foxes. And uh, yeah, we go to the next era. We're, we're not uh, overly excited about uh, about uh, the amount of biomes we have here, but uh, it's okay. Yeah, um, as last time, we can't access uh, technology uh, here, so uh, doing uh, castles and knights is uh, unfeasible, so we have to do another calm era, but that is fine. It's no uh, no harm in doing that, but we, uh, we won't be getting access to the really, really good era buildings. But that's fine. Now let's go look at what everybody wants to build. The scientist wants to build fruit, plant, and plant-based stuff, so we can't really, we can't really do any of those within the uh, challenge limits we do. So um, that's gonna be that. Let's see. A merchant. A merchant wants gem, mineral, or distinct biotica that has a base gold yield in market. So let's take that, since that's the only one we can help him do. Huntress, what do you want? Hopefully, you want animal based stuff. Okay. Animals that have base food yield, fish, or food and gold for animals. You want both food and gold, so let's actually take the tavern here. They wear about equally good, but uh, this one will help with uh, both of the things we uh, we need help with to get. So let's let's work on her first. I think mm, we also need to unlock more of these draft charges. We can buy some of them, and I don't think that is a bad idea. I particularly want to buy it with population because that's going to be the resource that we um, are not hurting for the most. So let's look at the savanna. We need both wealth and pop. We also really, really want to just know that we have access to uh, to the African elephant. So taking this is not that bad for us. So that's what we did here. Yeah, okay. We need uh, we need some somewhat of a uh, plan for a bit, but the boss one. We have 90 more Eon to prep, and we want to place two of these uh, elephants, and they are gonna cost uh, cost a lot of uh, Eon. But we can uh, we can uh, make that happen. Actually, let's let's create some more Eon while we are waiting because that's basically that's basically the name of the game here. We are doing these cape boxes. Then let's upgrade these away and place down a leopard over here. This needs to be next to two prey. It's next to one prey in the zebra. So let's also give them another prey here in the uh, gazelle. And uh, that solves their gold issue, almost. Mm -mm -mm. And yeah, I think we just have to... ...have to ac accept that we wait a little bit by upgrading uh, upgrading the Hunters more. She's gonna, she's, gonna have a, she's gonna have a field day once we get access to uh, elephants. Until then, we just have to wait a little bit. Neutral village. We want to start a new project here in Bearwell, but to seek inspiration, where should it work? Uh, fruit, element, fish, or distinct animals. Let's take the one we can do. And you want more types of animals. You currently only have the Cape Fox. Let's also then give you parakeet, maybe. You, it doesn't matter what kind of stuff it is, but you maybe want some food as well. So let's give you a genie fowl over there. And a gazelle over here. And we have a third food animal for We could do another zebra and upgrade it away later. something. Let's give them a parakeet. That can be a distinct animal. 
They don't. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be food. It just has to be more prosperity. Ten more. Ten more. Yeah. It, yeah. It's worth that. We're gonna give, give get some additional prosperity from that. And let's place this. We can get another biodiversity out of it. Okay. Um, Sage, you want to bake cakes? We can't help you bake cakes. Can, however, help you gain more food. Can't try to help you get get a lot of that. Let's give you that zebra. That zebra also wants uh, two more distinct herbivores neighbors. They have the guinea fowl. Let's also give them that and this. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not the best. And yeah, last time also, Calm Era was uh, not our um, not our best uh, payout, but that elephant really. Um, really turn things uh, over yeah animal breeder let's uh, let's uh, have this that gives us access to science that's gonna unlock some uh, unlock some uh, micros for us that's gonna be really cool uh, which one of these are domesticable it's it's the these guys China foe. yeah we are very much wanting uh, Wanting you to be do that, so let's go there. And you need uh, you need two more to get a hundred science. So yeah, I th think that makes it kind of worth to spend on expansion charge here. Uh, expand, uh, expand. It's between the hunter and um, and uh, the, the diplomat here. If you do it between the towns, you get uh, four new tiles. That way, they can uh, expand more both uh, both cities. Let's see. And they wanted one more of these guys to get a lot more science. Wanted two more of those. Two more. Okay, if if we get a little bit more prosperity here and get a third city to 25 prosperity, I think we can um, get a lot a lot closer here. Actually, trading and stuff is a thing. Cool pets. How close are the other cities here? You have uh, 16 prosperity, you have 13 prosperity, and the hunter is gonna be the one that's passed. No! Wait, what? Which city is... Oh yeah, you have 32. Ah, requests also, uh, also boosts you. Okay, so... Merchant have... Uh, the merchant need one more prosperity to do it. Okay. We can uh, easily do that. Can we give you more stuff that has space gold? We have a lot of the Fenix, or the Cape Fox. Uh, can we give you... We can give you a... Parakeet, at least. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, now that's at 25. Mm, let's go back to the diplomat and get you up to get you up a single prosperity. You need you need all of, you need all four of these. You need all of these. You need the distinct animals. One, two, three, four. 
case, let's. Uh, are you you are interested in expanding? But there isn't anything here to expand to. So if we give you a reason to expand, you probably will. And uh, that reason is going to be. It's going to be another zebra. We can upgrade this away later, so they will come get it. Actually, since we are up planning to upgrade this away, let's also place down a fox here. And yeah. I don't think I don't think it's worth chasing uh, three star in this call era. So let's just accept that we aren't getting it. Yeah, let's uh, let's take the sheet down. It also gives us the uh, access to the oryx. We like that. And uh, yeah, now we really need to start uh, planning and preparing for what we're going to do in uh, the start of the third era. Let's see, Huntress is... Of course, we, we don't know that it's the Huntress that wants to uh, wants to do the food genocide. But uh, yeah, we are... Let's, let's start placing down as many of these herbivores we can. Because uh, that's what the elephants want. They want a lot of elephant. They want a lot of herbivores, and they want a lot of distinct, different herbivores. Okay. So yeah, we are two thirds into the game now, and uh, we have 137 uh, points. That doesn't look as imp as uh, impressive as this should, but uh, once we uh, once we get to dominate here in uh, Slow Scrap. We are gonna run really, really good stuff. Okay, so it's the diplomat that wants to uh, wants to build this large uh, corp uh, this time. That's sure. Uh, okay, so we have the forty first Eon to build up as much food production in her um, in her town as we can, and uh, after that we can't place food anymore. But uh, that's fine. Okay. Gold in animals within borders. No science, no ocean, no. Let's do hotel. Right next to the sludge factory. Awesome! So, what is the game plan? The game plan is to upgrade away these zebras and this fox. Upgrade to level 3 here. And hope that we get a good, good tile to place elephants in. We didn't get that there. Uh, let's upgrade this tile as well, just to see what we get here. Also nothing. Hmm. Finally upgrade away these animals. Here, here is one uh, booster. So, first, first set of uh, African elephants go into here. Yeah, and this is currently a 2,400 food uh, animal. That is gonna, firstly, give uh, give the hunters a lot of uh, a lot of lot of food, which is uh, in turn going to. Um, Going to make a lot of sludge, and sludge gives uh, gives uh, the hunters wealth, while it also gives everybody else uh, food. So that's great, but uh, we are not happy with only one elephant here giving 2,400 uh, food. We want uh, we want more. Wait, what? Oh, 
Oh yeah, uh, I, I was thinking they already have the Hunter Spirit uh, bonus, but no, it's uh, it's this this 50% and this 50% gives the additional 1200, 1200. Because the second time we place an elephant, we're gonna get 100% additional food on both elephants. And that is the ridiculousness we are um, looking for. Also, we can, uh, we can place micros, which is gonna make it even better. So uh, yeah. Um, but I want to try to find another place to place a really good um, a really good elephant here. So let's try to upgrade these spots as well. And here it is, an animal boost slot. That's gonna have our second elephant. We only need um, to get access to um, to a little bit more micro. So we need there to be at least one zebra here but uh, we can afford to we can afford to take away one of the zebras we just have to remember where they are here is one of the zebras it's within the, uh, the sage town and i think i think we are upgrading this away And instead, we are placing down an oryx as a new type of herbivore and a giraffe as a new type of herbivore here. Now we have room for our sec enough, enough biodiversity for our second elephant. We have 15, uh, we have only spent 15 of the eon here, so I think this is gonna be really, really good. And uh, yeah, this is now a 4,000 uh, food elephant. And this is a 4,000 food elephant. So yeah, I think I think we're going to have a really good sludge 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 core here. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, now we need to upgrade this further. Let's buy one of these sanctuaries. And I am going to go over here, terraform the planet, create a sanctuary at this elephant. And uh, we're gonna have to find out which kind of, uh, which kind of micro we're gonna spend here. So we have these, uh, she gives additional food, science and gold for each complete level four city request on this planet. We haven't completed either of those, so we can't really um, we can't really spend those there. But let's see, let's see. What do you have for us? These are micros that Jangwa has unlocked. They just get stuck on uh, on the plant giants. So I will accept. I will accept using these plant-based biotica plus food for each distinct animal within border. We um, don't have to put that on the elephant, but uh, it is something we can, we should use before sludge factory goes off. So let's put that on, for example, uh, for example, this uh, Ginny fowl. And that gets, uh, get some more foods really big uh, really big city here and uh, yeah world court is gonna is gonna finish itself once uh, sludge corp is finished because it's just gonna get so much population off to every every other city these elephants are huge anyway let's go here by by micros and um, we are gonna summon, uh, summon some really good micros here. Oh, what happened? They killed the elephant and it respawned. Okay. Oof. Yeah, um, so this mantis gives 20% additional primary yield for each distinct predator in this biome. So this can give up to 80% more food. And uh, yeah, uh, this one doesn't really, we don't really care about those. But uh, let's apply this to this elephant. And since it's a sanctuary, it will apply twice. 
so this is 160 additional percent food so that's 2,000 more food so this is a 6,000 food elephant now and uh, yeah we just have to try to make it so that we can afford to do that again on the second elephant it's got yeah yeah it, it's uh it's um it's gonna be a crazy run folks let's see merchant can i get you no let, let's let's go to the sage town and let the sage and let the sage get some gold because uh he is easier to get uh, more gold into can we spend the drone beetle on this genifowl and uh, maybe we can spend <sighs> we can get another unique unique kind of uh, predator oh um, let's put that on a parakeet because the parakeet uh, will be uh, won't be removed from the slurge corp so we can have a we can have a we can uh, have a predator parakeet that's so cool you are now a predator because that will count as another unique predator for stuff that cares about that. For example, I think lion uh, and stuff. And yeah, we don't know. We need uh, s mm, who gets us. Uh, I, I want to spend th this for mis uh, for mystery, and we want to spend that to something that can give us um, access to maybe more micro. So, for example, the scientist. If we can, uh, if we can, uh, let's also put that on a parakeet, so it will. Uh, and your and their um, the uh, stealth core and here we get some more science and yeah yeah the primary reason we uh, uh, wanted to spend this micro is we want to buy another micro charge so we can um, uh, so we can uh, get access to more stuff and we also want to get enough money to buy a second terraforming charge so uh, let's see can we dual beetle don't we have a, a leopard somewhere this is a leopard and uh, you don't mind to have a 25 percent additional gold do you so let's give you that and uh, that was enough to unlock another terraforming charge and then we go over here to this African elephant, build another sanctuary. And uh, we are giving you the 80% the, uh, additional uh, food twice. So we can get another 2000 food. And uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of uh, building up more food here. I guess we can try to get access to a th no a third elephant will be detrimental because um, because uh, we will lose out on uh, the 100% additional food from the hunter spirit. So what we rather want is to place another oryx because that's 150 food and it's another herbivore for the elephant. So every additional herbivore we place now is 240 additional food on both of these elephants. Oof. I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited. And yeah, it's like the diplomat has uh, has already 109-110 prosperity before the sludge factory has even started to produce. Yeah, and that's really cool because... Um, the, the three star goal is to have 250 prosperity on the diplomat and we are almost already at that which is pretty pretty dope anyway let's go for this draft we need to draft from somewhere let's take a look at the forest here and uh, there is nothing here to access so let's just take the squirrels I don't know what happened to my accent there but um, uh, yes okay so uh, now we need to find out what we want to do with the, remain with the remainder of our three star slots. We have an elephant here. This slot is empty. We can uh, we can give a giraffe here. 
actually, let's look at what building you want to build. Fish. Distinct food yield biotica. Uh, sure. I think this works for now. And uh, then you will lose that bonus later. So I don't really know why I did that. You need 60 population. But you, you will get that once the Slurge Corp has canned all the animals for food. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's focus on increasing um, increasing this city's food output to the max. Um, we have placed these, so that's okay. I'm pretty sure we have at least one uh, one gazelle around here. We have at least one parakeet. We have at least one guinea fowl. We have at least one zebra. And that that's it. Um, what we can do, and probably should, this parakeet ain't in uh, proper use, okay. Uh, let's go over here and create a very, very tiny desert. Now, why would we do that, you might ask? It's because uh, we can have more distinct uh, herbivores. No, it's in this biome. Ah, okay, that was uh, that was a horrible decision by me. I was thinking we could uh, we could put out some of these herbivores here and help the elephants. But alas, we could not. Let's let's undo that, undo that mistake, and uh, just spend spend the rest of this possibility here to to place some more herbivores. Actually, what we should do is just replace these uh, African dogs with um, with more herbivores. Uh, the herb herbivores that can uh, go away later, so we can easily um, replace them. So that, that that was two more Eon spent to there, and uh, that gave both elephants almost 500 more food. I want the I want the cape foxes to stay because they will give us a lot of biodiversity. Uh, so. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that was all of the... No, here is another one. Actually, let's replace it with the parakeet. The parakeets will still give a bonus uh, down the line. We can't, we, we can't really replace all of the places. Okay, that, that was the last one, but because we lost, we lost uh, biodiversity there. So then I think... The final thing is we uh, replace as many food animals as possible within the borders of Slurge Corp. We have we have two oryxes, so placing two more doesn't really help, I think, because we will lose a hundred percent food gain on the two of these. So, since we only have two, it's basically to have the effect of having four. At least that's how I understand them, but we will also get some biodiversity. Hmm. Uh, no matter, we only, have, we only have one giraffe, I think, so we can at least place one giraffe. Uh, ooh, where is the diplomat's territory? It's here, yeah. Uh, place one giraffe. And let's place... Let's place another virginia fowl, I guess. 68 food. Gonna give the elephants a lot of food here. And yes, I'm going to let this tick down. Before we... Uh, before we tick over here. This is so... I don't, I, I don't, don't know if this uh, is how it's supposed to be, but uh, I, I think it's really fun to break it, break it like this. Let's see, before we... 
before we go totally. Uh, let's upgrade this Oryx with two worms. Just because. Just because. And... Then I think we're gonna place a final... Final... Final Gini file here. And then the Sludge Corp is gonna take all of this food and turn it. The sludge must flow! Yeah. So uh, now they are. So Sludge Corp has produced uh, 769 sludge from destroying food biotica within in, uh, borders. Delicious! And uh, yeah, so what they are now doing is that uh, they created canned sludge, which gives 15,000 food to whatever city that has it. And uh, they will export this to other cities, which means that um, uh, over time, every city on the planet is going to get 15 thousand additional food we just have to let this tick down a little bit now um, let's see trade routes I'm not quite sure why they aren't exporting this yet but I guess I guess the older cities would need to have uh, we will need to be able to import first and uh, since all the animals all the animals already uh, all the animals have gone we need to uh, replace everything with uh, things that can give them gold so um, yeah uh, 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 we don't have access to prey anymore yeah because now we can't place we can't place uh, food uh, food biotica anymore, so we need to uh, we need to find out how we can uh, <laughs> how we can repurpose our planet to uh, to, um, to accommodate uh, this. Let's start by turning this place over here into a desert. And uh, now we can try to give you some animals that can give you additional, uh, additional, uh, additional gold. Gain another trade route. Mm -hmm -hmm. Could upgrade uh, to make room for a cheetah, maybe. Mm, we don't have access to enough biodiversity to create a cheetah. That was always a thing to worry about. Can we? You need to be next to more prey. We don't have access to prey anymore that we can play. <laughs> but we can play another one of these anyway. Should give you more wealth. You need uh, also a little bit more wealth if possible. Mm -hmm. 
sure. Let's do the African wild dog. And yeah, now they are coming. But it's they that are exporting. Or are they coming over here to import? Yeah, now they get canned sludge. Which means that they are also gaining 15,000 food. Yeah, I, I, I was I was kind of remembering how this was uh, supposed to work, and um, yeah, this is this is just gonna be in uh, sanity here. Um, mm -mm, you want distinct predators to gain more gold because food is a non-issue. I know, I think you already have a lot of that. You already have enough predators. So that should finish uh, this task as well. So yeah, you can just uh, you can just stay here and increase your population. And when and while you increase your population, the uh, diplomat will also increase uh, her stuff because uh, she the sludge corp gains additional money based on how many population that are in other cities that have access to can sludge. And uh, yeah, we already already free start this here. Uh, next thing to focus on will be to make uh, the sage here get access to a trade route. It, it's a shame that they already spent one of their trade routes on uh, on the, these exotic pe pets there. It makes it uh, much harder to um, makes it much harder to get access to what what we want them to have. Ooh. Triple bonus gold slot, yes, please. Let's put. Um, let's let's look look, look for uh, something better to put there. Let's draft a savanna thing. We can have a lion. Yes, that's gonna help us out a lot, lot, lot. Let's place down. Oh, we need uh, one more biodiversity before we can do that. Let's place down a cape fox over here. Shouldn't that give us... We don't have enough distinct animals. Mm. Let's place down this vulture as well. We didn't have that one before. Then all of the foxes regain their biodiversity perk. Then we can place this lion over here. And this is a good one. It's, it's not as great as the elephants, but it's 500 gold. It's gonna get them up to a trade route. Which means that they can go and import the canned sludge from um, from the diplomat. Which means that the sage is finally going to get his population up to a billion. Which is what he wants to do uh, the uh, four, uh, four star task here. And that will in turn increase the, uh, increase the level of the hotel. Yeah, 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 we are uh, we are swimming in uh, good stuff here. Let's let's look at another draft for the desert. We can't use either of these. We we, we can take the desert tortoise, but I don't know if that is worth it. It basically just gives back the biodiversity cost. Um, it is a herbivore though, and it's too late to care about that. Uh, we could upgrade it to become a unique predator. So yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's do that. Then we need to find a place to place it. Sure, this is a free star place where we can put it. Or would we want to have a lion here? I don't think she needs more. Um, I don't think she needs more uh, prosperity actually. Hey, wait a minute. We have completely forgotten about uh, buying uh, the last, the last, uh, the last tribe. We need to, we need to place them too. Let's expand the planet a little bit. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, the miner only cares about science. We can't help him with that, so it's gonna have to be the pirate queen. You can uh, come live over there. 
and uh, yeah, let's help you get some wealth so you can uh, import, import, import the important stuff. Um, let's just give you cave foxes. Oh yeah, I I want to buy some additional eon here with um with our um, massive amounts of uh, population tokens. You want predators within within biome? Yeah, that's the correct thing. Here is the third predator. That's great. Now you are going to go get a trade. Come here, get the cant sludge. And that's gonna be a bazillion food. And let's see. Uh, distinct gem, distinct distinct animals is the only one we can do. Don't know if you're gonna care about doing it. 800 prosperity. And the diplomat is inventing something. Wait, what? How did you get access to so much science? Oh, that's no, oh, that's not. This is a diplomat. Stew. No. <laughs> you made you made can sludge, and you, then you made stew. <laughs> it's so good because. These guys are just gonna improve and improve and improve and improve. <sighs> Merchant town, you need you need more wealth so you can uh, so you can import sludge. You need six more wealth so you can import sludge. Let's prioritize getting that. You, I get, you need to go out of the way. Let's see here. We have uh, access to a lot of upgrading stuff, so um, mm -mm -mm. let's just upgrade away this space here. Get uh, animal rooster slots. Awesome. Can we afford to put a lion here? Yes, we can. Let's do that. Boom, 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 boom. You will go fetch the sludge. And you get 15,000 additional food. <laughs> you get to do your quest. <laughs> Okay, what's your new building? Ocean biomes, gems, or uh, plus additional gold for animal gold. Let's do that. And uh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do some more drafts here. Uh, let's do rainforest drafts, see if we can get anything proper unlocked. No animals we can use here, so let's just unlock whatever. I don't want to spend my rerolls on uh, off um, off habitats. Uh, 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 same reasoning here. Let's just take the boar and let's buy another draft and try to draft something for the savanna. Let's see. Maribu is a predator that we can play. And uh, it gives other stuff better things. We can't play the Rhino, we can't play the Titan Graveyard, we can't play the uh, Umbrella Thorn Akashia, we can't play the Wilder Beasts, we can't play the Warthog, we can't play the Impala. Is the Marabu worth it, or should we spend a few rerolls to try to find stuff? I think we should try to spend a few rerolls. Secretary Bird would have been awesome if we could play food based stuff. The servo is just a 50 gold thing for us since we can't we can't play grass. Same thing with the wrist, we don't can't, can't play it. Let's reroll once more. Buffalo. So there is a very <laughs> very real possibility that we just rerolling without there being actually something here we can unlock that we care about. The spotted hyena though is a ugly predator gold generator. Yeah, let, let, let's let's take the hyena because um, because it's uh, something we can uh, pretty easily play here. Uh, we need another fox first. Oh, 
let's just double check that all all cities have have sludge now. All the cities have sludge. Yes. Okay. So I, I was I was hoping that we could maybe get a thousand prosperity, and uh, yeah, 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 we we can definitely get a thousand prosperity on uh, just a single, uh, just a single, uh, single uh, giant here. Yeah. So really happy about this. Now let's uh, let's focus down again. Place the spotted hyena over here. Because that's gonna make our lions better. What do we do with all of these pops? I think we spend a few of it on more drafts, just because I want to check if we are missing something. We can of course take the Marabu. Marabu is gold-based uh, predator as well. That we can play. We need uh, a little bit more, a little bit more biodiversity to play that. So let's just buy some more, buy some more eel. So we can play some more cave foxes. Oh, this is the desert. Uh, cave fox can go here. Here and then we can upgrade this away because we have a ton of upgrades. Upgrade this away too in case we can get to get a better thing underneath. We can't. That's fine. Let's then place a marabou. That will improve everything that's ugly, and it will improve the lions that care about more predators. That's a parakeet. That's not a lion. That's also not a lion. Where does the lion live? Anyway. Do you already have a lion? You already have a lion over here. Let's buy some more Eon, just so we don't accidentally run out. There is so st there's still so much things we can do here. I have 5,000 prosperity across the universe. That's um, that's fine. Most of it comes from uh, comes from over here. We can uh, probably um, terraform these lions here. Um, mm, mm, mm. Ooh, that's the thing. We can. Uh, we already have. We all. We already have a predator parakeet. Um, we don't have a predator white-backed vulture already. So let's go here. Create this into a predator. That makes another unique predator for the lion. Oh, and he actually. Oh, we don't have any. We don't have that many herb herbivores anymore. Yeah, because all the herbivores got um, got purged when we did the um, when we did the uh, sludge corp thing. But yeah, that was that. We need a uh, little bit more tech, then we can uh, buy another microcharge. How can we get that? Ah. Uh, I know how we can get that. We need um, we need somewhere where there are micros already present. Let's see. Do you have micros? Mm. Or we we do have uh, we do have uh, <laughs> we do have all of these we do have all of these to spend. Yeah. Primary yields for each patch in this biome. Yeah, we are definitely gonna put. We can spend these because we uh, earned these on Jangwa. 
Let's see. Merchant. This gets 60% additional stuff. Uh, this gets... 60% additional uh, gold and mist, but you don't have uh, much mist access. Plus 40 food for each distinct animal within borders. Uh, here it is. Uh, this is. This gives more science. It doesn't really care about care about uh, what kind of what kind of animal is on, and it doesn't. And it uh, wouldn't be doubled in sanctuaries, so let's just place them wherever. Only thing is, uh, it gets less value on the sage because he already had tech. Yeah, okay, here are some more micros. Buy micros. Uh, go here, buy the micros we can do, get... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, uh, do uh, double these lions output. Uh, double mantis these lions outputs. So now it's just a thousand lion, which gives more wealth to uh, the merchant, and he can finish his city of gold idea. Get some more draft we can spend to get some more savanna stuff. Can't use either of these. Can't use either of these. Can't use. You, you, we can use the servile. Yeah, let's unlock the servile. It's another distinct. Uh, it's another distinct predator. Let's place that over here, and he can be happy. Mm, we can also buy another another sanctuary over here. Mm -hmm. And I want to spend some micros here. Let's see. This gives another 25% twice. I kind of want to do another 160% uh, on this line, but we don't. Um, we can spend uh, this one over here, I think. And uh, yeah, just um, pretend that uh, this Cape Fox is uh, barren. Sure, no, it has been desert. Luckily, we do have a desert somewhere. Um, where is the, here? Is the desert now? Your this snake is now barren. And uh, this can only upgrade plants. We don't care about that. We need five more tech to unlock the next micro, which means we have to go down here and spend uh, these as well. So these can be spent on level three stuff. Do we have any level three stuff we want to spend that on though? It's basically the... Um... Mm, oh yeah, but that, that's the thing because we need to place them on level 3 stuff. We can't place them on other stuff. Do we have any level 3 uh, level three animals we can place here in the savanna? It's the cheetah. Yes, right. We can't get enough. We can't get enough stuff for that. Mm -mm -mm. What we can do, however, is upgrade away this place and put down a tortoise. That should give us a little bit more biodiversity. And uh, let's also put down a bearded dragon. This gives mystery if there are micro in adjacent biotica. So uh, let's use that to our advantage and spend some of these. Let's see, we can spend um, we can spend uh, this on a two star. And uh, there it works. It now has uh, biotica next to it. Give some more stuff. We have uh, six. We need. Oh, we have enough micro. Cool, cool, cool. Then, then we're gonna take some more micro here. Uh, we can't use this one, but use this micro charge. Get back to that lion we wanted to upgrade. 
Oh, we need to place a lion over here. We need to place a lion over here. It's already a sanctuary here. Mm -mm -mm. We need uh, 12, 12 more stuff to place another lion here. Uh, 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 which means we need to spend uh, a little bit more stuff here to oh we can't we can't properly do it we have to do it some other way around let's again let's replace this cape fox with uh, a parakeet with a cape fox then we can place some more of these Two more. No, three more. And then we can afford to place a lion without triggering the endgame. And then we can spend this double mantis. And uh, then we just need to spend the rest of the micro we have. Hmm, plus four decent animals. Sure. Let's give that to the Cape Fox. Uh, additional food can't be used. Vice Roy Butterfly. Let's spend that next to the uh, next to the Sage, since he will turn that into into science. Put that on this cave fox. Let's see. Then we need to spend uh, spend the final <laughs> micros here we can. This one can't be used. This one can be used. Let's spend that on this African wild dog. And uh, this uh, leopard can take this two-star thing. Uh, 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 uh. Then we need a three-star to place that one on. I don't know if we have a three-star with space left over for that. Let's see. Uh, oh, we can do it at the lion. No, we we wanted uh, we wanted uh, to do uh, to do uh, 150 percent, 160 percent for that. Or we could uh, we could spend it as two slots to place these. 60 percent here. 60 percent here, and we we do need to we do need to have three stars to spend these on. So. Ah, uh, that one is bad. Okay. And uh, this one is in biome. Yeah, so we should have spent uh, these instead of these. Ah, uh, well. You, you're you also a three star, but you're spent. You are a one star. Uh, we can't replace you. So that's fine. Let's give you that. Oh, that was not a good use. Ah well, uh, mm -mm -mm. we kind of need to. We kind of need to uh, just uh, finish this uh, off too. Uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Here is a two star. You already have stuff, but we can afford to buy some more of these. So you will come over here and create a sanctuary, so we can place one more of these. You are to place this. Uh, da -da -da. This two star. Yeah, that one seems nice. Let's 
give these guys these guys that this leopard has stuff this has stuff uh, this Maribu needs something you can take you can take two things if we come over here and upgrade you yeah I want to give you four animals within borders that one was bad okay they they, they only have that Maribu damn they have a uh, hundred and a hundred and eighty nine population only of a single Maribu. Let's uh, let's give them this. That is at least something. And yeah, um, we don't have any more three stars we can spend stuff on. We don't have any more two stars we can spend stuff on. And uh, yeah, the remainder of these are bad uh, for us. Let's just final thing we're gonna do is to place something down on a place where we get a bonus. Let's place let's place another servo down here. And that's gonna be it for this uh, playthrough. And uh, yeah, I think um, I think that uh, 1,532 prosperity is pretty decent for a single uh, single giant uh, run. It, it it was much better than as it has been. We almost doubled the score from last time. Uh, so yeah, through the hard work of the Sludge Corp CEO, profit was maximized. Maximum value has been created for Sludge Corp shareholders. Focus groups reports a rise in happiness. So, uh, yeah, we unlocked Stir Stuffer, uh, plants with forest giants, complete planet with huntress, complete planet, planet with uh, something, something, something. And we got uh, quite a lot of uh, prosperity here. Did we lose prosperity on the way out? Didn't we have 1532? Anyway. Doesn't matter, we cracked one and a half thousand prosperity on a single giant run, and uh, I think uh, that is uh, worth worth something. If you enjoyed this uh, run, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, or commenting on the video to support this work that I am uh, doing. And I'm really glad to have you um, have you been watching and. Um, yeah, particularly let me know if there was something in the video that you uh, p p particularly liked or didn't like. It helps me a lot to guide my content creation forward. Now let's look at this Apex Biotica we unlocked. We unlocked this Mufflon. It gets 20 food and uh, additional 35 food for each undergrowth Biotica within this biome. This can be a pretty easy way to get a lot of uh, a lot of food into the taiga, which sometimes is, uh, is hard to do. The next one is a desert thing. And it is the pomegranate. Okay, 50 food, 75 food for each mineral in the biome. So it's bad for, it's bad for uh, solo giant runs. And uh, it uh, it doesn't want animals to be in here, so it loses food if there are too many animals. That's uh, that's cool and all. And let's, let's see the last one. It's the jaguar. 50 uh, 50 gold and 50 addition, 25. Uh, additional gold for each surplus biodiversity in the in this biome. So it really wants to be next to. It, it really wants to be a lot of friends with um, with those uh, desert uh, foxes things. That's not desert foxes that I've been saying wrong all video, but um, they really want to be next to those. And uh, plus additional five percent uh, gold for each distinct biotica in this biome. So yeah, if you if you only run like. Uh, single biome thing with these guys, but you allow a use of all gens. This one can become a really big, uh, really big uh, jungle cat. 
And yeah, you also have the Araboot, Arabo Turtle, and the Onyx here. So uh, yeah, that was that. 1560 uh, uh, in uh, prosperity on uh, on uh, Jangua only run. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Harbinger, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.